Greetings Mech Warriors, this is Stuart Strategos Level 3 and we're doing another campaign operations using Mech HQ video and this time we're going to have a look at perhaps one of those top level things that you would do in campaign we wouldn't do this in every campaign which is to add and maintain a jump ship so we've got a drop ship in our company and we can actually have more than one drop ship but now we're going to actually put a jump ship now you have to be a very big company to have a drop ship in the universe uh, but you know you may get a, a company to that size and you may decide okay yes i'm gonna i'm gonna need a jump ship now there are different ways to get jump ships in this you can go looking for a jump ship uh with a certain role which isn't um in this um isn't in mech hq i don't think uh, but um, you can then just go and actually buy and add them in in the as, as particular units so for instance I'm going to go to uh, marketplace uh, purchase unit here and we're going to click here on the cro on the uh, unit type here uh, we're going to go to jump ships and we want a nice small kind of merchant jump ship here so let's go for a nice merchant jump ship with one drop ship collar here, one drop ship collar there, small craft there. So a typical sort of ship that you might have as as a as a well as a as a merchant as a big uh, mercenary company. And I can try and find the drop ship now. There's a particular role in this in campaign operations, which is a lot harder than nine. Um, and I'm just going to add it as a GM. But you could you could buy it here and, and at its cost. You can see the costs are huge. So the cost here is five hundred and thirty four million C bills for just a merchant class jump ship. It's absolutely huge costs. So I'm just going to add one in. So there we've got the jump ship has been added. Go to the the hangar, and here's our jump ship. And again, what I can do is I can just use the add minimum complement option. So I can go to GM mode, add minimum complement. And now, in addition to that, I can go back to here, go to the TONE, and I can create a part in my TONE for jump ships. Here we go. I can give that uh, an icon. Um, there we go. And I think there's is there one for jump ships here? There we go. Warships, uh, turrets. Drop ships. Doesn't seem to be a jump ship one. Oh, there we go. Jump ship. So we can click on the jump ship there and then we're going to add the jump ship just a small jump ship still very expensive to there so we can also now go to our drop ship and we can assign that transport to the jump ship so that's a great uh kind of way if you're doing really big campaigns where you're actually maintaining your own jump ships and if we go to our uh, personnel here and look at our uh, crew, um, support personnel, vehicle crew, don't know where it would be actually, not in aerospace large vessel crew that's it you can see here we've got our crew and I can make our, uh, our crew member here our elite crew member so I'm going to make that person our captain of our ship and you've got quite a large crew you need a hyperspace navigator uh, for making the roles for jumping to hyperspace and you've got our two uh, vessel pilots here as well and if I go to our hangar actually go to our um, report our unit report we can now see that we have got an export excellent transportation rating because now we can actually carry our dropship collar we've one needed and we've got two available 
and so we've got jump ships and so we get uh, some additional an extra plus 10 to our unit rating because of that um, let's just view the whole group so you can see in our unit rating here for some reason it's listing our commander as the captain I don't know why it should still be the major not sure why she's suddenly become a higher rank interesting interesting to see why but not sure about that um, set that back to major and see if it changes it now for some reason she's still listing her as the commander so some bug there I'm not too sure what's happened there uh, not listing the uh, our veteran mech warrior as the commander but it enables you to add uh, the jump ships and for those jump ships to uh, be uh, something you, you maintain and use and you can then use them in your transportation and effectively you'll be paying maintenance for this. And the maintenance for this is huge. So if you click on this and go to um, see maintenance log, which is in the hangar. So I go to the merchant jump ship and go to, I can give it a, a name. Um, there we go, show monthly uh, supply cost report. So the spare parts just per month are 180,000 C bills. And the fuel costs are 888,750 bills. That's just in kind of, I guess, the reaction thrust for the for the thrusters for station keeping. Um, so these things will cost a lot to run. And that will impact on the amount that you charge in your contracts. So that's a, a, another video just to show how you can really expend this out to very, very large uh, formations and you could have very very large groups and have your own jump ships assigned to you uh, or owned by your company and still track that within within Mac HQ um, the tech crew again it doesn't I don't think it does maintenance roles for the for the drop ships I don't think you need to get additional people with the tech skill uh, let's have a look if I go to personnel and if I go to the personnel just on the jump ship and pick our elite person here and edit their skills. And if I look here, I've got tech, tech mech, tech mechanic, tech aero, tech, tech vessel. So I've got tech vessel here, but it doesn't allow me to assign them. So uh, obviously, I don't think they seem to make maintenance roles on on those. One last thing, a uh, correction from last video, you can set your uh, units in your hangar to be in a particular place. So for instance, if all of your units are going to be at your home base and your home base happens to have, um, happens to have a, uh, um, There we go, happens to have a um, particular um, uh, factory, for instance, you can set location. And I've just lost where I was actually, I had it a minute ago. Uh, change site, there we go. So we can change the site. It doesn't, there we go, change site. So I can, I can list all of these and I can just go to change site and we can say we've got a maintenance facility and that will give them a minus two. Uh, we can put a maintenance facility for this. So don't think we can, yeah, we can. Just don't know if I can assign a personnel, no. So 
So you can change who the person appears there, who they're assigned to. Um, so that's that basically, the how you add drop ships and use them within your campaign. And then when you're using your interstellar map, you can use that drop ship to, uh, to go from one place to another.